incident, accident, and emergency, events that occur in a workplace. Now, firstly, we're going to talk about an incident. An incident is an event which has occurred, which in the context of this topic relates to health and safety. Under the Work Health and Safety Act 2011, incidents are notifiable when a scenario has caused danger or has caused injury or death. So it doesn't necessarily mean someone's got hurt because they have said danger as well. So if anything dangerous has happened in the workplace, we have to report that so that it can be acted on and so people know about it, okay? And they need to know about it so they can act on it. And unfortunately, when dangerous things do occur, people can get hurt and sometimes fatally. So that is why it's important we notify these things. And once they're on record, hopefully then we can avoid them happening again. And that's why it's important to notify about incidents. This flows then into the subcategories of accidents and emergencies. So the second one we're gonna look at is that of an accident. The term accident relates to an unintentional incident which may result in an injury to one of the parties involved. Many incidents are accidental as people don't generally go out of the way to hurt themselves or others. And that's what we're trying to identify here with an accident. Okay, Things happen when you're doing work in the workplace. You trip over a cord, you accidentally slip while using equipment, Okay, you bump into someone, you drop something. Things happen that cause injury Okay, and those are accidents. This is why procedures need to be in place in organizations in order to support health and safety in the workplace, to hopefully avoid accidental injuries from occurring. That's why we set up policy and practice, okay? And um, we've spoken about in a video before about risk management and how we look at the workplace, we look at hazards, we rate their risk, and we implement risk control methods. That's all so we can hopefully reduce the risk level of a hazard and minimize its potential of causing harm thus minimizing its potential of causing an accident in a workplace. So an accident is an important notion to understand because we can't help them. They happen by accident, okay? We can't control it because no one's intending to do those things. But if we do have good policy and procedures in place, such as the wearing of PPE and the creation of isolation environments, okay? Those things keep people safe in the workplace, protecting themselves, protecting others in the environment, okay? Reducing the likelihood of accidents happening. All right. Now, the final category we'll look at is that of emergencies. Now, emergencies when things have gone really bad. Okay, an emergency is an incident where an individual or group may get severely hurt. Okay, creating an emergency situation that may be life-threatening. So, this situation now. Emergencies can happen without anyone getting injured, such as if there's a fire in the workplace, the fire alarm will go out and everyone will hopefully evacuate the workplace. All right, so the fire is extremely dangerous. It's gonna cause a lot of damage to equipment and stuff like that. But if everyone hears it, hopefully good policy and procedures are in place and they've done their fire drills, people can evacuate without anyone getting injured. But that is still an emergency situation. Emergencies can require first aid strategies such as CPR or defibrillation. Okay, if things have really got into a dangerous level, people might need those first aid strategies. They also will need emergency service being contacted in order to support injured in individuals. So in that same fire situation, regardless if anyone's hurt or not, fire department will be called to hopefully put out the fire. Emergencies may require an evacuation taking place. I have said fire evacuation taking place before, but sometimes just because another dangerous situation's happened on site too, and people may need to get out. Okay, it could be some equipment's overloading, chemical exposure, anything like that. All right, and this may result in either the police, ambulance, and or the fire department being contacted for support. Some situations require all three coming automatically. All right, but that is emergency situations where there is a great risk to harm happening to everyone in the workplace or for a certain group in the workplace. And we need to do things such as first aid, those things such as CPR defibrillation, contacting emergency services and getting out of the workplace through evacuations in order to keep people safe. So I hope this video has given you a good introduction into these three different terms. Essentially the incident being any event occurring within the workplace and we're talking about health and safety incidents in this unit an accident being an unintentional incident that has possibly caused harm to people, okay, which we're trying to avoid happening through the setting up of workplace policies and procedures through risk control methods, and then emergency situations when there is a severe risk in the workplace, such as fire, okay, where people need to be attended to from emergency services and they need to be contacted or they need to evacuate the workplace to be safe.